Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 82 And I bought a meme car. I did a little money grinding and I bought a meme car for 2 million credits It's this thing. It's the uh, the failed Experiment from last year's Le Mans. Just holy shit Yeah, and now I'm gonna attempt to drive it and win with it. That's guess what Le Mans for the final uh, star three stars in the uh, yeah in the game. So let's go to Circuit de la Sarthe for the 24 minutes of Le Mans, and um, hope that this doesn't go terribly. I I put I bought and equipped so uh, racing soft tires to hopefully help me out. We'll see how this goes because I imagine this track isn't that hard on tires, and considering how well the uh, Tires have lasted. Racing tires have lasted throughout this uh, thing. Yeah. Just, yeah. Alright, so we got. Oh boy, the Toyota 88C <laughs> starting up front. That's good to see, except not. Oh well. So, starting with a very wet track, I see. Doesn't matter to me because you know racing softs. And uh, some more Group B cars. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go. All right. Let's try that again. That was a lot of spins. That, that was a lot of spins in one fucking like, sh just hundred foot section. It's holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Eh, that's true. The first segment of this race was wet. That would explain the uh, lack of tire wear. Alright, well, let's try this again. Like, the car didn't feel too bad with all that tire wear at the end, but... By then, I just had no chance of winning, because, you know, all the, the half a minute that I lost from spinning my car around and around and around. And around 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 and around. Okay, anyways. So, um, time for the second half of the 48 minutes of the mall. Fuck. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Everything's fine. I'm gonna slipstream the Audi R18. Once again, it's in the way back of the field. Cause fuck it. Car attached to the ground is really cool. This thing does have ridiculous amounts of downforce. That is a thing about this car, is it has retarded downforce. Absolutely fucking retarded downforce. Hey John. Yeah, R18 is cool. Happy that it's in this game. And here he comes. To attempt to pass me and fail. Down force up the motherfucking wazoo. Like you you ain't no, bro. You ain't no. The downforce is fucking insane. Honestly, I probably should have reduced downforce for this race. Oh well. Oh well. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Cars, this this is oh hey Hachi, this is the uh, the Nissan GTR LM Nismo or whatever the fuck it's called. It's the failed LMP experiment from last year's Le Mans. Good shit right there, right there, if I say so myself, I say so, that's what I'm talking about, right there, right there. Alright, so most of the first half of this race will be around the 30% uh, wetness black. Spoiler alert. How is it? Surprisingly good. Like, for as much of a failure as this car was in real life, it's pretty good in this game. Oh, you've been streaming Coltrane? That's cool. 
Yeah, streaming is fun. Especially when you have people to interact with. Fun times for all. I think it was what was eating the front tires was the fact that A, it was dry, therefore generating more heat. And B, the front tires are doing all the fucking work. Like, as far as accelerating and turning and all that shit. All that shit. Okay. People pitting, probably for different compound tires. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. R390. I just realized we have Jansen, Jansen, and Hansen. So many Ansons in this race. So many. Literally three out of 16. I don't really notice much understeer. It's very planted to the ground. It could be because I'm using, you know, fucking soft tires, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I knew... Yeah, that's right. The front tires are larger on this car than the rears. Hell, you can tell by just the fucking uh, openings above the tires. How much larger they... Like, wider they are. Oh yeah, definitely downforce is not, you know... I don't, I don't know. I don't know how the downforce correlates to tire wear, so... I'm just gonna shut up about it. And keep driving this car. Also, a th another thing about this car is the force feedback on this thing is insane. Like... This car has as much force feedback as if I was on a fucking dirt course. It's... A lot. It's got a fucking lot. Oh, and we are going into the darkness. Nighttime, bro. Yeah, down. Yeah, that's right. Downforce adds weight. Weight equals le bye bye tires. Well, hey, K boys. Yeah, me, Mel, and P. Playing RuneScape right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Memes. Anyways. Oh God. Tell you what, this downforce really helps with fucking braking. This thing stops on a goddamn dime. Something like that. Also, flashy lights. It seems the uh, the brights and the dim lights uh, do not affect this car at all. There's only one brightness setting. Fucking bright. So this fucking this wet road is really helping my tires. Yeah. Bright. 24 hour race, I wish. It's only 24 minutes, because this game is like, what's our endurance races? Those aren't real. I don't know, I guess they don't have road lights around here. Fine with me. Nighttime is the right time. Seriously, nighttime is fun. Twenty four hours of lemons, yes. Fucking lemons. Oh no, okay, we're good.
But yeah. It's a public road. You don't expect to see a lot of lights on, like, just a road like this. Roadside lights, you know? You know? You know. Yeah, this car was, in fact, a lemon. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Also, I did. I just did a thing which you can maybe not quite see because dark. I turned on the uh, wiper. Boost some kind. Yeah, that's like the uh, electric motor boost thing. ERS. That's what it is. ERS. So basically, it gives you more horsepower, and it charges up under braking, like through a. Uh, brake friction something like that like it friction charges with what brake I don't fucking know how ERS works I really don't Eco boost, yeah, clearly. Oh, hey, the rain suddenly stopped. Guess I should turn my wipers off. Wiper off. Like you can tell, like whenever I run out of juice with the ERS, because I start accelerating a lot slower. Yeah, 800 horsepower front wheel drive car. Come at me, bro. Fucking front wheel drive. God. Even if this car did work, I don't think the front tires would fucking even think about surviving enough on this car. Because, one, you have front wheel drive. Plus the insane amount of downforce that this thing generates, the front tires, just, no, absolutely not. So the ERS adds 200 horsepower, basically. This roading cost of shit, would I take the job if I got to race these cars and fuck yeah I would. Like this is this would be my this is my fucking like ultimate dream here is to be able to race race cars. <clears throat> Especially at an event as prestigious as a 24 hours of Le Mans. But <laughs> that ain't ever gonna happen. Yeah, if only like the bat the rear battery for the fucking rear tires worked. Ha would have had like 1200 total horsepower or something like that. And we are halfway, which means we go into immersion mode. I'll ho hopefully not go flying off the track this time cuz limited visibility. Brakes. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh hey, dry road, yeah. Alright, since I know this race is gonna go seven laps, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, Spend a little less time on, ref on refuel with pit roading. So yeah, dry equals uh, these front tires going to die. So, remember when GT had endurance races? I remember GT5. Hopefully GT Sport puts them back in the game the series. Hopefully. And if not GT Sport, then GT7.
I love how the ERS drains so goddamn quickly. It also charges really quickly. Going wide in Arnage, okay. And suddenly morning. Fuel's kind of rip. That's eh, fine, I got enough to make it to uh, pit lane. Yes, I am pitting this lap, or else uh, I would be going a uh, full lap at, a f at 50 miles per hour. Don't really want to do that. Headlights off. God, this car is so, like, neutral and responsive. It's so good. It really is. Oh, fuck. When you're not going wide, that is. Oh, no. We have fucked up the pit-in chicane. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm only going to take 80 liters of fuel instead of the full 99 to fill me up, since we're only gonna... Since this, uh, the rest of the race is going to be one less lap than this stint, so yeah. You're not an idiot for only using fucking Cockpit View Ultra Wolf. It's fucking awesome. So, hello, Moraine. I'm not able to turn on my wiper. Not until I have manual control back. Waiting on fuel. Fuel is complete. Let's go. Okay. Wiper on. So now, time to kill the front tires. Because this rain isn't going... Oh, fuck. Okay. I literally could not see the entry of the uh, chicane, so I, I was just kind of guessing there. So, yeah. What little rain we have here is not going to really help my tires much. Luckily it's the front tire, so I'm not going to have to worry about, like, oversteer out the ass. I'm just going to have to worry about understeer. Hey. As long as this race is 24 minutes. Wish it was 24 hours, but it's only 24 minutes. Hey, I'd like to see Coda in GT Sport. I like Coda. It's a nice technical track. I really like the first turn at Coda. It's a lot of fun. Just giant fucking wide ass uphill hairpin. Infamous 24 minutes of Le Mans. You know what I should be doing? I should be driving in like the wet line down the Molson shit to keep my uh, front tires cool. No, 24 hours is not in this game. It's only 24 minutes in this game. That's the longest race in this game, is 24 minutes. Uh, the longest Forza Enduro up to Forza 6 was like an hour and a half to two hours. I think the longest race, the longest race in Forza 6 is 300 miles. There's two of them. So, yeah. Plus all the Forza Endurance races are distance based. <clears throat> so, you know, stuff. Oh, I touched the grass. Okay, we're good. Car stayed stable for me. Just going to the right here to see if I can get a little water on my, uh, to cool down my front tires a bit. I 
I'm like legit doing the strat, don't mind me. It's around one hour plus. 300 miles? That's not. Oh, oh god, okay. That was a tiny bit of oversteer there. This car doesn't oversteer, meanwhile. I just did that. Hello, Pojo905, how are you? Slow, I see. I cannot read that ultra wolf, I'm sorry. It's too much of too much text for me at this current moment of concentration. And in second place, and going wide on the exit. And also I was in sec uh, ecking gear. I thought I was in first gear, but no, I was in second. GG me. Okay, this is where I spun like 500 times. Last attempt, I think on this lap. This time is much better. All right. Okay. When it comes to endurance races, yes, GT5 is better because it actually had endurance races, but I say overall, despite the lack of endurance races, this is the better game compared to GT5. Oh, okay. How you doing, Mr. Pojo, man? Haha, get out braked. Group C prototype versus LMP4. <laughs> oh yeah, GT4 is my favorite, so you know. I have an undying love for GT4, so uh, yeah. Stuff. One hundred percent expected that to happen, so uh, hooray. Let's hopefully not fuck up Molson Corner here. So, I think the rain is stopping, so time to turn my wiper off. Careful. Okay. HC re-release of GT4. How about just make GT7? How about just do that instead of fucking... Also, they can't really re-release any older GT games because of licensing. Considering pretty much, like, you know, 95% of the content in the game is licensed. They, uh... Yeah, they have to make sure they actually have those licenses still. So, you know. Like, don't get me wrong, GT4 and HD would be amazing, but I'd rather see uh, that a GT... Basically, what I want to see is a GT4 HD remake in spirit, as in GT7 being like GT4, except a million times better. I don't even know if that's possible, but a million times is possible, but still. You know what I mean. Yeah, the rain is rip. Soon the tires will be. Although my front tires are actually doing pretty good right now. They're only down 70%. Um, I'm not sure how they got the names of all the uh, drivers, to be honest. I know it's set for e like a set driver for each car. It's not randomly generated for each, like, yeah. Hey, this game has mechanical damage, kind of. It has visual damage, kind of. I mean, GT Sport would be cool if it had, uh, you know, more accurate visual and mechanical damage. I really don't care if it doesn't. But, yeah. Yeah, oh, hey, I win. It's like I was expecting them to pit. Whoa. Yeah, 
Uh, GT4 had a kind of HD option, but it was interlaced HD, so, uh, yeah. It's 1080i, so, eh. It was crappy HD. It did not have 720p. The, uh, the resolution options for GT4 were 480i, 480p, and 1080i. So it's like... Pfft. I mean, 480p still looks good on it. Just because, you know, the deinterlacing and shit. And stiff. Oh, crap. Easy with that force feedback, bro. Yeah, big jump, fucking 480p to 1080. I'm like, okay, bluff me, damn. Uh, if your wall has not scrolled off, like, scrolled away, Ultra Wolf, I can read your wall after this race. I saw something about a Top Gear, like, acceleration thing, but I didn't get to see the whole thing. Final lap. Oh no, test drive has joined the uh, the spreadsheet community. I'm sorry. I'm insp I'm I'm making people like put a bunch of unnecessary work into things that ultimately don't matter. Go me. On LPT you too, with or without voice acting. Shiny road, very shiny road, and wide at Arnage, and into the tires. Go! They do matter. Oh, do they? So, um... Somehow I've taken much better care of my front tires in this attempt. Because, uh, yeah. You, it's me. I have to fuck up at least once on final lap. Come on. Yeah, spread shit is spread shit. I just call it spread shit because it's funnier to say shit instead of sheet. Stupid. I mean, base down. Well then. Okay, just gotta go through the third chicane. And then the other third chicane. And there we go. I won the 28... 28, wow. 24 minutes of Le Mans with the fucking meme car. Yeah, I didn't spin the car, which, you know, kind of makes the tires better, but yeah. And stuff. Oops. And bottom four did not make it cross the line to start lap seven in time. Oh well. Damn, that fucking Mark IV, way the fuck back. That's a fucking meme car, Anderson, come on. I won by half a minute, hooray! Very good. Very good. Alright, so let's see if I can find this. Oh, here it is. Top Gear Challenge goal is to have the highest top speed in one mile straight. You have to go from zero to top only your highest possible gear. Okay, so Ultra Wolf, basically what you're saying is put it in high gear, accelerate from zero, is that what you mean? If so, have fun. That shit's gonna be, uh... Well, those cars are not gonna get going very, very quickly. Or at all. Hey, there we go. Hey, Macarena, I... <clears throat> So, hooray! We won the race. We have some monies now. And we got our final three stars. Oh my god. I wonder if I get a trophy for getting all the stars. I don't remember. It 
It's an interesting challenge, Ultra Wolf. So, there we go. All the S, all the super races are done. Oh, hello, Audi Quattro. How you doing? All right. Well then, what is up? Okay, well, there we go, there's that. So, before we uh, end this segment, I just want to uh, show, hey, it's stat screen. So we have all 573 stars now, and uh, yeah, all this drive time, and shit. Uh, <laughs> just seeing that Diablo GT2 in Indianapolis logo, just PTSD from fucking Like the Wind. So, there's that. So, the main part of the game is pretty much done as far as this shit, but we still have a couple the uh, the missions and the coffee break and stuff and all that. So, uh, we're gonna do the uh, super missions next time. So, with that, stay tuned for more GT6. Oh my god. <laughs>